so we can click a picture from right there from the top from the side and all that you require is just a normal tiny little for Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia. I'm a full-time newborn photographer here in Bangalore. Today, I'm here with another video of what, how you can do a session at home, but with provided you have some fur. See, you need not need to have huge fur with you. I just have a tiny little one with a pillow. So that's it. You don't really need much of the props. I have one in this color and the other one in the other here so i'm just gonna make the baby lie down and i'm gonna show you how can you take a detailed picture uh if you had seen my initial video i have done a newborn photo shoot at home with the rompers if you haven't watched that video please pause this video go and watch the previous video so initially i had showed how you can do a simple wrap at home so there are certain procedures that you can follow and it's all that i am showing is step by step as to how you can do a newborn session at home so yes let's quickly begin so today i have my stand and baby here uh, and it's the same romper which i used on the previous video I'm just having the baby lie down on this make sure you have good support to the head balance the head in case you have a nice good pillow like this you will have a newborn pillow along with you these are a little fancy one which i got it from the store choose whatever is available with you uh, or in case you don't have it it's absolutely fine you can just have uh, towels underneath the wrap you can just have it and make sure you have a support good support on the neck it's all about how you support a neck of a baby that's it it's all about that so yes let's get back to the video and i'm going to show you how do we take just detail nice good picture on the wrap i'm just making placing the baby on this far see how we can just do a nice simple um, photo shoot on this fur it's just a tiny little fur which I have same way make sure you always have a good support to the baby's neck head legs crossed tilted see the baby's comfort zone and do it accord work accordingly with the baby just nice simple like that Or you have in in case in case you have a nice tiny little uh, toy or a prop of the baby, make sure you just have it here uh, with the baby's hand. The baby will feel cozy as well as nice because that's the toy that the baby is used to. So yes, it's it's just all about that. Let's start clicking the pictures. Make sure you have a nice good headbands which you have. Place it for baby girl for baby boy. You don't really have to place anything on the head. You can just leave it blank. Or so it's all about that. Nothing more I'm going to use. You can just play around with what you have at home. Um, yeah, the headbands or the cap for baby boy. Whatever you have, just see what you can utilize. Just think would that suit or not and just play. Even if it doesn't, just take it off. It's totally fine. It's just that you're doing it, you're practicing or you just want the memories to be captured. That's it. Nobody's going to judge you. Nothing harm. Just do it. So yes, let's start clicking the picture. Now I have already given the support for the baby's neck in here and just a normal fur. Also, I'm just having natural light. Now, what you can do is go ahead. Again, today I'm again using my Nikon D810 with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. This is 2.8. Uh, yeah, I'm shooting on that. And it's a Tamron lens. So let's start clicking.
make sure you try and zoom in and click be it on the phone also on the phone uh, all the pictures that i'm clicking would be displaying on the screen uh and yes make sure you take a detailed shot because we have a small for you can take up the picture which is only required you don't really have to take a white probably you can and then later on you can cut it you can crop in so yes let's click Try and click the baby's details, the hands, the feet. So go on to the details in basic. Uh, when you have the fur and when you have the details, probably the mother who is clicking a picture on the bed can just place their hand underneath the father's hand and just click a picture from the phone like that from the top or somebody else can help them out as well. So let's just keep the legs folded and the hand either on the side, one on the side and one on top. Like that. You probably can just take it, work it accordingly. So now I'm going to take the detail of the leg. So yeah, the same way, if you don't have a pillow, just place the baby down. Try and turn the baby. To support the baby's head, I'm using the bean. You can use any type of uh, cloth if you don't have a bean or you can use towels. Uh, small size towels just roll them up and keep them underneath the fur I'm just keeping it underneath the fur you don't have to be neat in the front in the behind because we are taking it only from the front angle and like that So that way the baby will have good support. So look, it just looks so beautiful already. Only with just a simple fur, the baby with the normal cloth and the band. That's it. Nothing more. And try and click details again. Come on the front. Also, you don't really have to think of, oh, which side should I be taking or which angle, what and how. Try and get as many clicks as possible. When the baby is comfortable sleeping in such position, try taking it over from there. From Always the better picture would reflect when you are actually clicking from that side to here, from the top of the nose, not underneath the nose. So that looks very beautiful. Uh, yeah, the, the, these are the certain tricks which I can help you out. Let's just quickly change the other fur. With the same dress, I'm not changing the dress. Just changing the fur. I just have a normal beautiful uh, moon along with me. It is uh, act This actually is not uh, only for a newborn session. This was actually gifted to my son by uh, my best friend. So I'm just using this. For the newborn session as well mm, right now i'm just gonna do a chin up pose which actually not recommended until you are a professional photographer so i just have the fur underneath i have this moon prop uh, as a support and always make sure uh, for all the newborn photographers to have one person been holding the neck on the behind for the support it's a newborn baby it tends to shake the head or moving around so please uh, have a support 
so look it already looks very beautiful and classy so we can click a picture from right there from the top from the side and all that you require is just a normal tiny little fur actually fur also is not very much required you can just have i just have a backdrop right here i i got this from a prop store and uh, this so i'll just click a picture and show you how it looks this pose right here the chin up pose is uh, not recommended for people at home to be done uh, only professions can do that with uh, a lot uh, with with years together of experience is what we do these poses uh, so yes uh, it's just to show you how pretty and elegant it looks instead what people at home can do is make the baby lie down on the same angle like that and you can click a picture the legs legs to be folded like face the baby a little more down and someone from the behind always should stay here to support the baby's neck in order to not let the baby uh fall up fall down from the place where we have placed them so this is a normal simple beautiful pose that everyone can do it's just that you should be careful again when i say everyone can do all the professionals and the person who are very sure can handle the baby so well they can do that because all of this comes with an experience of years together so just clicking it from right from the top So this is all about it guys uh the posing of how to do at home with the normal small fur and the same rompers headband everything which is very simple what you have at home you can still create beautiful and wonderful images uh it's just that you have to be creative and be very safe because it's newborn uh so for more videos like this you will have to please go like share and subscribe to my channel also please don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can follow me uh and you get notified as soon as i upload a new video so that's it for today see you in my next video until then stay safe be careful take care bye bye